Mexico City's popularity has grown amongst foreigners and a lot of that is due to its amazing gastronomy. Today we're going to highlight a Mexican essential, the taco. And after a year of countless taquerias, <laughs> we're going to be taking you to our top five taquerias in Mexico City. There are more than 11,000 taquerias here in Mexico City and we've tried almost half of them. No, we haven't. Yeah, that would be impossible or we would be really cheeky. Well, we have tried our fair share of taquerias, but believe us when we tell you that it was hard to choose only five among those. Welcome to E-Bila Travel. We are Jenny and Kevin, two Mexicans from Chicago who have been living in Mexico City now for a year. We love to eat, dance, and take you along our travels as we learn about our beloved Mexico and the world through food, stories, culture, and more. So make sure to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on these great travel tips and adventures. First things first, in order to appreciate a good taco, we first have to appreciate the components of a taco. So you've got the tortilla, which can come in many different colors depending on what kind of corn is used, assuming that it's a tortilla de maíz, which if you're in central Mexico, you will most often come across a corn tortilla. If you are in the northern region of Mexico, for example, you'll come across more often the tortilla de harina, or the flour tortilla. The other main part of our taco is what we put in that tortilla. El guisado, a delicious concoction of delicious meats and or veggies. You fold, top with salsa maybe, and you enjoy it as you enjoyed your true love's first kiss. Okay, good. Now that we understand how to identify a taco and make out with one, let's get down to business. Starting with number five, Los Pastorcitos de Sirloins. They currently have two locations, one in Colonia del Valle and the second one here in Colonia Juarez. This place sells only one kind of meat and that's sirloin. This is one of the first places that made it to our top favorite, so we're excited to share this with you. You might recognize this style of cooking the meat, popularized in Mexico by the taco al pastor, but this isn't pork like the al pastor usually is. This is high quality top sirloin meat mounted into a trompo to give you the sizzle of crispiness on the outside, yet maintaining that tender juiciness on the inside. You can get it in a taco, in a torta, in a gringa, all kinds of variations, but because they only focus on sirloin, you're guaranteed to get a tender and flavorful meat. So Kevin went ahead and got the traditional taco de sirloin, no frills, just the tortilla. They bring out this whole array of salsas, which are amazing. We've got salsas tatemadas, which are roasted peppers and tomatoes. You've got red, green. I think this might be the habanero one. Oh yeah, that's the habanero salsa, uh, pineapple salsa. And then I always get confused what this one is because it tastes like pineapple, but it's purple. I think the best one though is the one that Kevin put on his taco, which was this tamarindo salsa. It's so, so delicious. It adds an amazing sweet touch to the crispiness and juiciness of the taco. I, on the other hand, wanted to go ahead and try their taco norteño, which they highly recommend. And what makes it a norteño taco? What's well, the sirloin, just like all the other tacos, but what makes it a northern taco? The tortilla de harina, the flour tortilla, of course. This one also has guacamole, cilantro, cebollitas, curtidas, or pickled uh, purple onions, pickled purple onions, cheese. The cebollitas, by the way, which are amazing. They're marinated with black sauces, which I want to guess is like Worcestershire sauce. If I said that, did I say that correctly? Unless you are allergic to onions, like one of our friends says he is, just because he doesn't like onions, then I don't believe you. You have to try them. But anyway. Cheers to the taco norteño. Oh my God, this is a big one. Man, I was like wondering why this tastes so different, the meat from the usual sirloin tacos that we have here. And it's because I forgot that in the taco norteño they add some chicharron that they specifically fly in from Monterrey. Well, I'm assuming, assuming they fly because they get it daily. Unless it's a road trip. How long is the drive from Monterrey to Mexico City? Yeah, but it's good. All right. Different. <laughs> On to the next one. Our next taco takes us to nearby Colonia Cuauhtémoc, just around the corner from the iconic angel statue on Street Rio Lerma, which is a street that we very well know for its sushi. Okay, so these next tacos are gonna be very different from your traditional Mexican taco. These are gonna be Asian fusion tacos. 
Yes, as crazy as that sounds, it is true and it caught their attention because we love both cuisines, Asian and Mexican food, so this is just the perfect opportunity to have an Asian taco. I haven't spent much time in California, but it's my understanding that Asian tacos are very popular in California, not so much in our hometown of Chicago. So we've tried them for the first time here in Mexico City and this place, you guys, you're gonna fall in love. Check it out. The idea is that you feel like you're eating ribs. It feels like it, but it just tastes like a sweet corn curry and it's so good. And when you come to Cariñito, they have seven different tacos, two vegetarian options, and five pork belly ones. Every single taco has a different Southeast Asian kick. I ordered two. These are my two favorite tacos here. The cantonese, which is the Cantonese, on a flour tortilla with a confit pork belly, poison sauce, sriracha, and sweet pickles. Delicious. And this tortilla right here is made in house, so it makes it extra special and extra delicious because of the freshness. I swear, this taco is so delicious. It transports me back to my honeymoon with Jenny in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Next time we go to Southeast Asia, I'm gonna take tortillas though. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so delicious. Mm. How nice of you to think of me while eating a taco. <laughs> Should I be jealous? <laughs> And the other taco I got is a Thai taco with a house-made, homemade corn tortilla. It also has pork confit, a ginger sauce, which I think is a Thai spicy sauce, some cabbage, and some basil. The ingredients here are so fresh. You can smell it as soon as you walk into the taqueria. Oh my god. Which one do you like better? My favorite, favorite one is the cantonese. The sweet and spicy pickled peppers and the sauces all just blend in so well together. Oh my God, so delicious. I wanted to try a veggie one for a change because I also, also usually get the cantonese and the Thai tacos, which are amazing. But I, today I wanted to try the eggplant taco. They have two veggie options. There's a cauliflower and an eggplant. And the eggplant one says it has a soy confit eggplant. The Jim Joe, which is I think that Thai chili sauce, basil and cabbage. So it sounds a lot like the Thai taco actually, which is good because I love that one. Mmm. Mmm. That basil though. Right? Oh my god. And they don't bring you any salsas by the way, which is like, <gasps> what? No salsa for your taco? Because they bring it to you already perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you don't need to add anything. And I also really like that they have these little corn husks, la hoja de maíz, instead of a plate because it's super eco-friendly and genius. Like, why aren't we doing this more? There's so much plastic used in so many of the taquerias and the street tacos. This is genius. Cheers. These are the kind of tacos that you eat slowly, enjoy every bite. I mean, they're not super cheap, 60 pesos, so you want to savor every... What the hell is your taco? I inhaled it. Oh my Sorry. god. Sorry. <laughs> and number three, tacos del office. Actually, that's what we like to call them. They're actually called tacos del güero, but if you look them up on Google Maps, yeah, they actually appear as Tacos de Suadero. So we'll just link them in the description below. This street taco stand on Avenida Universidad offers Tacos del Pastor, Suadero, Longaniza, Tripa, y Campechano. But the one we come here for is the Taco de Suadero. And then on a good day, the Tacos del Pastor are also really good. And then for free, you can add some veggies, limon, salsas, and then cebollita, fried cebollitas if you like those, which I really do. Taco de Suadero originated in Mexico City and the cut is equivalent to a brisket back in the U.S. The brisket is cooked in its own fat and a little bit of lard. In our opinion, el taco de suadero is probably the best taco here in Mexico City. You can find it in so many different places. We love this one because this is like your everyday taco. For me, it's after a good gym session, like the one I just had right now, I feel like I earned my taco de suadero. Mm. I like to call these two bite tacos, literally two bites. 
Jenny eats it like in six. Tacos de suadero and tacos de la pastor, I feel like quality and taste can vary even from the same puesto. So I don't always love the al pastor from here, but today's a good day for it. Suadero too, they're both really good. Oh, okay, round two? I can do like 10 rounds here, especially after the gym. But well, I wanted to point out that here in Mexico City, because these tacos are so common, I'm sure everybody has a taquero or a stand that they like to go to in their neighborhood. This one's particularly in our neighborhood, and we've tried it in other places, even the Netflix ones, number one for us. Yeah, yeah there are certainly other good suadero and good al pastor tacos in Mexico City, but it's a huge city, so this one's close to us. And number two, Tacos Tony. Tacos Tony takes the taco de suadero to a whole nother level. Their specialty here is cutting the suadero, which is the brisket, very similar to the office, except they cut it in really large strips, leaving you a good layer of meat and a good layer of fat for you to enjoy the taco. Just look at the size of this thing. These two little tortillas are not gonna be enough for this like pound of meat right here. Oh, to a whole nother level. Oh. Mm. Hey. Aggressive ass taco. We have an issue here. Your shirt liked it. Oh no. The only reason Taco Stoney doesn't make it at number one for me is because the consistency of the meat varies a ton. You can come at three o'clock on one day and have the perfect taco, Michelin rated, three stars. But then you could come at four o'clock on the same day and get a really tough meat. Regardless, it's still very delicious and I love this place. So it still deserves to be number two. This is what we like to call the Taco Triangle in Arbarte Poniente because Taco Tony has two locations right next to each other. And going in the triangle direction, you have a variety of other taquerias that are really delicious, including El Vincito, El Juan Bistec. Any of these are gonna be great options. Tacos Tony also has a dine-in space, so we went to go check it out and try their taco de costilla as well. Patreon fam, this one's for you. Thanks so much for your support. Before we head to our number one, we have a confession to make that might shock many. The taco we find ourselves eating less often in Mexico City and one that didn't even make our top five list is the taco al pastor. Mexico City is known for tacos al pastor and it didn't even make our list, but why? By the way, if you haven't noticed, we're filming in the metro right now because it's raining hard as heck outside and we can't even get to our number one taco spot. I think we just haven't found a good uh, taco al pastor that we love. We've had so many good tacos al pastor all over Mexico, but in Mexico City, we've struggled to find one. So we need your help. If you have any recommendations for amazing top five tacos al pastor of Mexico City, please Leave it in the sure description below. below. Oh, comments, comments below. <laughs> yes, comments. <laughs> But the tacos al pastor that we have had and we want to mention are El Vilcito, which is an auto shop uh, located really close to Tacos Tony. Uh, they're really good tacos al pastor, just not top five, but we really recommend it if you want to have a good taco al pastor in Mexico City. Another one we really like was Taqueria Orinoco, which is really popular amongst foreigners because yeah. it's located in the Roma area. And they make amazing gringas, they have delicious potatoes, but they're not our top five tacos. Yeah. So we look forward to hearing your top al pastor in Mexico City. And without, and without further ado, here's, here's our, our number, number one taco, taco in Mexico, Mexico City. All the people you see here are all waiting for a table, so I went to go put my name down, and they said it was at least one hour wait. We just did the whole Michelin taco, and we waited for two and a half hours, so one hour doesn't sound too bad right now. In the comment section of that video, we agreed with many of you who said there's no reason to wait more than 30 minutes for a good taco in Mexico City. And while we still consider that mostly true, this is, I think, the only taco we would wait this long for. So one hour tops. The good thing is that we're not ravenously hungry we'll be okay we're not gonna get hangry right so you guys there are actually three locations there's one in colonia del valle that's the one we're at now this is one of the newer locations one in periferico sur that's way south over by estadio azteca and one in el pedregal Ooh. and after one hour we finally have a table we got our menus i'm so excited to eat and have you ever seen pink himalayan salt at a taqueria i have it I'm impressed. I love Himalayan salt. Okay, anyway, the menu. 
Tacos and sirloin. That's it. That's all you need to know. What truly sets Remorquito apart from any other taqueria is number one, the quality of the meat. Number two, it's the salsas. They offer a variety of salsas, very similar to the other taqueria, but these salsas are so freaking good. We're gonna start with the salsa roja right here, and we move on to piña with habanero, piña with habanero and tequila, salsa de guacamole, salsa verde, uh, chiles curtidos or cebolla curtida with habanero, and the best of the best, la salsa tatemada roja. This salsa is so delicious because it's spicy with a nice balance of a sweetness to give you like a oh, really beautiful, tasty taco. Number three are the grilled onions. The flavors of these, I don't know what they do differently. I don't know if it's the salsa that they put, or the lemon juice, or the the way that they sear them at the table. Something about these are, makes them juicier and tastier. And when on top of your tacos, they go uh, as a perfect complement. But number four, I think the main thing that sets El Remolquito apart from any other sirloin tacos in Mexico City are the tacos tatemados. The tacos tatemados are first fried and then grilled again in the salsa tatemada and then seared again at your table for, to melt the cheese further, I think, to give it that nice grilled taste. But we got three here. You can barely see them, but they're in there, and believe us, these are our favorite part. Doesn't this look like a flauta? It looks like a tortilla, but it's not. It's actually cheese. Oh my god. Oh, that is so juicy. La salsa tatemada is it's a grilled style salsa that's usually made in a molcajete. It's so, so good. It's sweet, it's tart, it's spicy, and it's juicy. This is the favorite, this is the best, this is the winner. So usually when we come here, we come here with a good appetite and because we waited an hour, we don't play games. We order a quarter of a kilo, which is 250 grams of delicious, beautiful sirloin steak. I don't know, maybe two pounds of tortillas. Now we can prep our taco however we like. What we love is, we love our steak medium. So the nice thing about the, the steak here, the way it's cut is nice and crispy on the outside, but really tender and medium in the inside. Mm. I wish y'all were here to enjoy this. This gets a Michelin star, maybe even three from me. ¿No le pusiste salsa? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, la salsa tatemada. La salsa tatemada is amazing. My second favorite one, though, is the, the green salsa one. verde. Because it's really creamy. Mm. Really yummy. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa, you almost inhaled that taco. Jesus. Two by taco. Two by taco. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I have some? <laughs> What's yours? This is my quarter of a kilo. I got the onions on my side. Give me some of yours. Give me some of mine. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. If you made it to the end, make sure to drop a taco emoji and we'll see you next time. Se cuidan, se bañan y nos vemos en la próxima. Chao.